Hi friends, in this lecture we will discuss numerical differentiation using Newton's difference method, finite difference approximation and Lagrange's method. So first, numerical differentiation using Newton's forward difference formula. So similar to the numerical integration, in numerical differentiation we find the approximate function, the interpolating polynomial phi of x connecting the set of given points x i y i. But we do not know the exact form of the relation connecting the x by values that is y is equal to f of x by, so by any of the interpolation technique we find this phi of x and differentiate it. So that is the basic principle we are doing in all numerical differentiation techniques. Here we choose the Newton's forward difference formula as interpolation techniques. That is y is equal to y0 plus u into delta y0 plus u into u minus 1 by 2 factorial delta square y0 plus up to the nth term. Where this x is equal to x0 plus uh or u is equal to x minus x0 divided by x. So we can write this dy by dx like this dy by du into du by dx since this y is an explicit function of u we rewrite like this. We know that this du by dx from this equation, this du by dx will be 1 by x. Therefore, this dy by du into 1 by x, this dy by du is obtained as this one. That is, dy by du of this one is 0, this one is delta y naught, this one is this u square minus 1 by 2 factorial differential, like that. So, this is the final result is obtained as 1 by x into delta y0 plus 2u minus 1 by 2 delta square y0 plus and like that up to the end term. So this is the general formula for the numerical differentiation using this Newton's forward difference formula. This formula can be used for non-tabular value of x as well as tabular tabulated values of x that is the given values of xi. For a tabular value of x, that is a for given xi, for a given xi, the formula becomes more simple. For x equal to x0, for example, u becomes 0. Since u is x equal to x0 plus uh, when x equal to x0, this u is 0. So, the dy by dx is obtained like this, the dy by dx is this one. So putting u is equal to 0 in this equation we obtain this one. 1 by h into delta y0 plus minus 1 by 2 delta square y0. Here this u becomes 0, this u becomes 0, so we get this equation. Similarly, the second order differential equation is obtained by differentiating the general formula, this first differential formula differentiating once more, we get like this. 1 by h square into delta square y naught plus 6u minus 6 by 6 delta cube y naught up to the n term. So again, this is a general formula. For a tabular x value, this becomes more simple. When putting x equal to x0, this becomes, this u becomes, u's in these terms become 0. So this equation becomes like this one by x square, delta square y naught, then this u becomes 0, so this minus 6 by 6 is 1, so that is minus delta cube y naught plus 11 by 12 delta raised to 4 y naught plus up to etc. So we proceed like this to get any order of the differential. So this is the general formulas for the uh, 
a numerical differentiation using Newton's forward difference formula. Next, we will see the finite difference approximation method. Using Tyler series, we can find the second value, the forward, forwarded y value, that is y of x plus h, like this, y of x plus h into y prime of x plus, h square by 2 into y double prime of x plus h cube by 6 into y triple prime of x, etc. up to the nth term. From this equation, from this series, we can write y prime of x like this, this y prime of x by y of x plus h minus y of x divided by this h, dividing all terms by this h, we get like this. So this is the, if, the, if we consider this as the differential, this is the error. That is, we can write this as y prime of x equal to y of x plus h minus y of x divided by h plus the errors of the order of x. So if we minimize this h value, we can reduce the error to a very minimum value. So this is the uh, finite difference approximation, forward difference approximation. Similarly, the expansion for the y of x minus h is like this y of x minus h into y prime of x plus h square by 2 into y double prime of x minus h cube by 6 into y triple prime of x plus etc. So that we can again write this y prime of x by taking this to the left side and dividing all terms by h and taking this term to the right side, we get y prime of x equal to y of x minus y of x minus h divided by h plus the errors of the order of h. So this is the finite difference approximation using the backward difference approximation. So this is the backward difference approximation. Again, summing these two series, these two expansions, we get and rearranging, we get like this y double prime of x equal to y of x minus h minus plus y of x plus h minus 2 y of x divided by h square plus errors of the order of h square. So we obtain this second differential of the y. Similarly, we can obtain all higher derivatives using this finite difference approximation very a very, very easy manner. So next, we will use Lagrange's interpolation formula for the new numerical differentiation. So as in the case of uh, interpolation, the numerical integration using Newton's forward formula and finite difference approximation are useful only for evenly spaced x values. The numerical differentiation is only useful for the evenly spaced x values. For unevenly spaced x values, the Lagrange's formula is one of the options. Here, first we will find the Lagrange's interpolation formula, then we will differentiate the obtained formula. So that is the general approach. First, we obtain the interpolation formula, then we, we differentiate the formula. So before deriving the general formula, general formula for the Lagrange's interpolation, we first consider the simpler case, that is the equation of a straight line, that is a linear interpolation, or finding a linear polynomial passing through two points, x0, y0, and x1, y1. It can be obtained like this x minus x1 divided by x0 minus x1 y0 plus x minus x0 divided by x1 minus x0 into y1. Look the pattern. This can return like this. L0 of x y0 plus L1 of x y1, where this L0 of x is x minus x1 by x0 minus x1 L1 of x is x minus x0 by x1 minus x0. 
it satisfies this relation Li of xj is equal to 1 if i is equal to j, that is Li of xi is equal to 1 and Li of some other x values becomes 0. And more simply, it can write like this. Summation i is equal to 0 to 1, Li of x by i. Now extending to the second order, we can write the Lagrange's interpolation formula like this. L2 of x equal to summation i is equal to 0 to 2 Li of x y i, where this Li of x values are this one. This is L0 of x, this is L1 of x, this is L2 of x. So this L1 of x, look this one, x minus x1 into x minus x2, but there is no x minus x0. And in the denominator, x0 minus x1, x0 minus x2, there is no x0 minus x0. Similarly, in the second term, x minus x0, not x minus x1, but there exists x minus x2. Similarly, in the denominator, x minus x0, x1 minus x0, x1 minus x1 not given, then x1 minus x2. So this approach is the common approach. This is to satisfy this condition. Li of xj is equal to 1 if i is equal to j, and Li of xj is equal to 0 if i not equal to j. So generalizing to the nth degree polynomial, the Lagrange's formula can be obtained like this. Ln of x equal to sigma i is equal to 0 to n li of x by i, where li of x equal to x minus x0, x minus x1, up to x minus xi minus 1, x minus xi plus 1, that means there is no x minus xi, then up to x minus xn. In the denominator, xi minus x0, xi minus x1 up to xi minus xi minus 1, xi minus xi plus 1, but does not contain xi minus xi up to xi minus xn. So this is the general formula for using the Lagrange's interpolation. So in a simpler manner, in a simpler representation, we said pi n or pi n plus 1 of x like this, this product terms, x minus x0 into x minus x1 into product of the all these x minus values. All x values are there. x minus xi minus 1 is there. x minus xi is there. x minus xi plus 1 is there. Then differentiating this pi n plus 1 of x with respect to x, there will be n such terms. Then by setting x equal to xi, only one term remaining, only this term remaining, xi minus x0, xi minus x1 up to xi minus xi minus 1, there is no xi minus x, x minus xi is not there, so there is no xi minus xi, then up to the nth term, since all terms other than the differential with respect to x minus xi, here the differential with respect to this x minus xi will remind the term x minus xi. In the result, there will be n terms plus summation n terms. In all terms, there will remain this x minus xi terms, but in only one term, this will be cancelled. That is in this term. So setting x equal to xi, this is the final result. Phi prime of n plus 1 at xi, this, this is the result. So that we can write the Lagrange's interpolation formula in a simpler manner like this. Phi n plus 1 of x, that is, is all the summation term, divided by this term will give the upper numerator values. So here this x minus 
xi is cancelled by dividing this x minus xi. And th this denominator is equal to this one. So we can write like this. The lie of x equal to pi n plus 1 of x divided by x minus xi pi prime of n plus 1 of xi. So, summing all these Lagrangian polynomials, we get the final polynomial, that is the Lagrangian, Lagrange's interpolation formula is ln of x equal to summation i equal to 0 to n pi n plus 1 of x divided by x minus xi pi prime n plus 1 of xi by i. So after finding this formula, we differentiate this formula. So we get the differential, the numerical differential of the given set of points. Now there is one assignment for you. Develop Python code for the above three techniques. Please write this assignment and upload. Thank you.